Hi guys, it's me again. Now I know this isn't good lighting or anything. I want to talk about something a little quick since I have a little bit of time. And I know this thing's going to be blotchy, so sorry. Uh, yesterday I took in my cans. I crushed cans. And then once a year I take them in to get money. It's Trust me, it's worth it. And it helps the economy, I guess. I don't know what they do with the cans afterwards. But they crush them, or they make them into little cubes, I've heard. Anyway, uh, I got pretty good money out of it. Plus, because I had a coupon. Uh, so now I'm going to... And then I bought something. Now, if you see a white glare in the background, don't worry. It's not your computer. It's just the lamp. See? It's not something weird. Uh, I'm in a good mood. Well, actually, I was in a bad mood last night. And then this morning, I'm not going to say how or who. Who. <laughs> but, uh... Um, now I'm in a better mood because of what I'm watching. So, it's the next thing I want to talk about. Jeff Dunham! Now, I'm holding this eye up so no one sees the barcode price. Huh. Oh, too late. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I found Jeff Dunham for a good price. And that one was Controlled Chaos. Now, I found Jeff Dunham when I was down Carbondale. A friend got got me into it. And I'm not going to say who's the name, because I don't think that that person will want me to talk about her on, on themselves online. And as far as I'm concerned. If they do, then they do. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to be saying people's names unless I, other than my parents. Or if it's a family or friend, but I still don't say the name. Anyway, I'm going to try playing some Jeff Dunham. Now, I'm not copywriting or anything. I'm just showing a little clip. Now, this is from Walter, which is, uh, uh nope, that's Ahmed. I got to learn how, uh, that guy, the old guy looking up. Well, one of the guys looking up. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to show because I really, really want someone to see. I really want people to see this. It's a really funny show. Now, you can have censored and uncensored. Now, this one's not un is uncensored, so I will have to put warning mature content ahead if I get to any parts with swearing it. It's mainly just swearing. So, and if you don't understand it, I would say... Don't watch it then, because, I mean, like, understand is like you're too young to understand what they're talking about. Okay, so I'm going to start playing it. I'm going to put this on the thing for just a few minutes. That's my TV. Before I got married, warned me of the institution. And now I guess you can say, I told you so. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome my old friend, Walter. Ever felt like doing that? 
Well, it's not gonna happen. Well, you might not jump all around, but when you get my age, you'll piss on yourself. Well, I'm just happy to be here tonight. Where the hell are we? Richmond, Virginia. Oh, man. Female? 
You never know. Sometimes that's the problem. <laughs> Honey, I got bad news and I got good news. The bad news is I want a divorce. Good news is I'm on your team now. <laughs> Oh gosh, I gotta play this part. Pardon me, people, but I gotta play it. I use that phrase every time now. You know, I saw an old photo of you and your wife. Your wife's quite beautiful. You yeah, saw it's an before. old photo. Yeah, I'm kidding. I know. I married a petite, young, beautiful thing. Yeah, she's literally eaten by the woman I live with now. <laughs> saying your wife's overweight. Oh, no, 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 no. She's, She's under, under tall. tall. Have you ever had a weight problem? Only when she said I'll be with you. Get off of me! Actually, it's more like this. Hello? Oh, oh. It's dark in here. Kidding. Then she farted and unlocked the car door. <laughs> what does your wife think when you do things like this? I don't care. Well, I know you care enough about your wife to take her on somebody's. Okay. That's enough. I think. Okay. Uh, that was Walter. Now that's not the end of it. I might do one with him later, because now that I own it, I can actually do this. If I didn't own it, I probably wouldn't have. Um, uh, I work early tomorrow, so I'll probably be com at home in the afternoon. Uh, so I might do one tomorrow if I got the chance. Now, in two days, we've got RWBY coming out. And I know I look like a creepy person. I got my Kindle here. Now I'm just going to say this because uh, I know I'm gonna, my, my dad's going to find out eventually. So I don't know if my mom's already told him. I got a crack. Uh, you can't see it. Hold on. Uh, that might be better. See the little thing? Okay. Now since I can fight, I'm going to turn it off so I can see where it is. It goes... Now I'm going to turn it back on. It goes, whoop, and then there's a little line right, right there. Now, the thing is, I don't know where it came from. Nope, not a clue. Oh, it's finally 9 o'clock. I gotta do something, so that's what I'm trying to work at this. Anyway, um, I don't know how it happened. It was fine overnight. I'm not saying where. Uh, and my pa my mother knows. She's not doing anything about it. I mean, I would be paying for this either way. 
I just don't know how my dad's going to react for this. Because literally, it wasn't my fault. I know I dropped this thing now and then. Barely. I It might ting against something like maybe the little thing for the headphones. Not this time. No clue what happened. I was even around when it happened. That's all I can say. Literally. So, I'm trying, I don't know what's going on, it, and I don't, I thought it might be an internal thing, but then I thought I saw a ting, so it might not be. So, I'm just hoping it is an internal thing so I can get a warranty thing on this. And if I can, and if I, they give me like, where I can upgrade or something, I'm gonna do it. Uh, sadly, I will be losing all my pictures on this thing, but maybe that would be better because then I can work, like, more. More on. Now, right now, I'm also going to say it so. Actually, I gotta go. Bye!